Yo guys, how's it going? We are back for another episode of our Norwich career mode where today we have ourselves two very difficult games indeed against Manchester City and against um, Liverpool as well. Currently, um, Man City are in second and let's have a look where Liverpool are. Liver so we've got first and second in today's episode that we've got to play against so that's going to be Oh, it's going to be amazing, ain't it? It really is. So, um, like I say, the way our form's going at the minute, obviously, it improved a little bit in the end of the last episode. But uh, whether it's going to carry on this one, I don't see it happening as getting anything out of these two games. I'm not going to lie to you. But to start the episode off, we'll get into our press conference and see what they have to say today. Uh, let's have a look what they want us to uh, get out of it. So, can you get the uh, the points you need? Um, we'll do everything we can. We'll get the points that we need. Not today, we won't. But we will end up getting the points we need. We'll work our way out because it doesn't seem like it'll be too difficult. But uh, can you get the better of the? Uh, can you get the better of Man City this time? Um, it'll be tough. We'll, we've got a point to prove. Uh, it'll be tough for both teams. We've learnt from our mistake. Uh, we've got a point to prove, but I don't see the result changing. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, will you be able to change your preparate? Uh, will you be changing your preparations? We'll just keep working hard. Because that's all we can do at the minute. Keep working hard until we can. Uh, until we improve, pretty much. Right then, boys, so now on to uh, our first game of today's episode against Manchester City. Uh, we're at home at Carrow Road, as you'll see their lineup. We have changed ours around a bit because quite a few of our players are actually quite tired at the moment. So we'll change our squad around. Obviously, they have a full-strength squad no matter what. They have a fucking unreal second squad, third squad. So it doesn't really matter which one we play against. But here we go. We'll go into this game and see what we can do. Hopefully, just try and put in a decent performance and here we are boys at Carrow Road for this game against Manchester City and the thing is about this game uh, about these two games in today's episode against Man City and Liverpool it doesn't matter what side I'm actually playing with against these sides I struggle against them anyway because they are such good sides the way they play and stuff so it's going to be difficult no matter what happens today because I hate playing against Liverpool and Man City just the way they play their attacking football and stuff like that it's just so difficult to defend against but we're going to get into this one uh, like I say we have had to change quite a few of our players around today so hopefully they can put in a decent performance where and when they can but let's get into the game and see what we can do from the start Right, Norman to whip this corner in. He is into a decent area and Pookie has got his head to it. <coughs> but Edison has managed to make the save just 15 minutes into this game. And so far, uh, Man City have only been on one attack so far today. We'll try and defend for all we can against these boys at the minute. And Sterling is turned on that pace there and it's into the box and it's a good save by Gunn. So far in this game, we've definitely looked a lot bit more stable defensively. And that's another good block. This time it is from uh, Dowell again, to be fair. And Norman's tried to come forward. Not quite happened for him, though. We've tried to get the ball. And there, that should have been offside, surely. How has he got that much space? Ferran Torres just put Man City in the lead. But I don't understand how he got that much how he got that free of the defence there. It looked... He was that free of the defence there. I genuinely thought he was offside. But apparently not. That is just excellent running. And probably terrible defending there from Quebec. Not great. We are 1-0 down, but it was to be expected. We've done very well all game so far. But unfortunately, we have still gone 1-0 down. That is half time. We've gone in at 1-0 uh, down as Man City took the lead just before half time, as you've seen with um, Ferran Torres. Like I say, it wasn't the best of defensive plays from for, uh, from our defenders in that situation because it genuinely, I thought he was offside. He was that free of the defence, but unfortunately not. He did put the ball in the back of the net. And to be fair, we haven't looked too bad in this game. Uh, you won't have seen a lot of the ball that we've had, but... 
I think we've done quite well defensively and attacking wise so far. Right then boys, we are back underway for this uh, second half now. And like I say, we've not had the ball too much with our strikers so far. But even though uh, I say that, we've still looked quite threatening when we've came forward. Uh, but the problem is, so has Man City. Uh, we've defended against them quite well so far. But whether that ha carries on in this second half, it's always going to be difficult against this side. No matter what time of the game it is. And it's played into the box already. And it's a good block from... From um, Omar Badeli. But unfortunately they still have the ball. It's a good collection. And somehow I think that's Ferran Torres again. No it isn't. It's Bernardo Silva this time. That has just pinged one. Uh, into the back of the net. To make it 2-0 just after half time. And uh, to be fair. It always happens on this game. I cannot defend from kickoffs. I don't know what it is. But I cannot defend from kickoffs very well. And. To be fair, that is just an unreal finish from Bernardo Silva. Don't get me wrong. I th think Gunn should probably do a little bit better being as it, it is at his near post. But that was just an unreal finish. Like I say, I'm not too downheartened about today so far. Because I knew we were going to lose against Man City anyway. We have lost the ball again, which isn't great. But we'll try and keep up with this man. It's played to the other side. It's Raheem Sterling with an effort at goal. And already we're looking very, very shaky in this second half. And he tried to give it back into Campbell. I've seen that run being made, but unfortunately he's played it straight into nobody. Now it's Rodriguez on the ball. We're going to try and defend for all we can and it's 3-0 now. It's another shot at the near post that has been absolutely smashed into the box. Uh, into the back of the net, sorry. And 66 minutes in, after going such a good such a good first half it has been let down in this second I've tried to come across I didn't want to come straight over to him because I know they're just going to ping that ball straight across to their uh, striking counterpart and unfortunately I ended up defending uh, that middle part and didn't get over to him quick enough and it has lead, uh, led Man City 3-0 uh, and Placheca has managed to keep the ball very nicely there and still it's got to that point now that it doesn't matter what we do it's just everything isn't going right for us. Man City just starting to turn on the style. And it's probably going to go to 4-0 with this attack now. And it's a very good save from Angus Gunn. But they are pressuring us. It is going to go to 4-0 with this attack. I know it is. And there it is. It's Kevin De Bruyne, I think, that has put them into the 4-0 lead. It is indeed. The Belgium lad, the maestro in the middle, has just bagged himself a goal now. And at the end of the day, there was not a lot I could have done in that situation. I think Gunn, again, should have done better in that situation. I'm not going to lie to you. But goalkeepers cannot defend their near post. He just had to stretch his arm out there and that would have been saved. But unfortunately not. We're now 4-0 down and it is what it is. In this second half, Man City have just clearly shown their class. And like I say, nothing. that we, We've hardly had the ball in this second half. We've hardly had the ball. Even when we've tried to come forward, we've hardly been able to do anything in this game. And so far, uh, we are probably going to be losing this game probably about 5, maybe 6-0 at this point. Because at the minute, we cannot do, do anything defensively. And just giving us a slight opportunity would be nice from Man City. I'm not going to lie because at the minute that is exactly what I mean. It doesn't matter what I do. The computer really isn't having it at the minute. Uh, it will not let me do anything as they're coming even more threatening this time. I don't know how to defend. Look, if that's the kind of passing that you get in this game, like what is the point in me trying to defend in this situation? And it's four, uh, five nil now. To Manchester City on the last minute with Correa bagging himself a goal. And like I say, there was a few passes in that uh, build-up that really should have been taken off Man City. But at the end of the day, when you don't get any help from the computer, it, it's not going to happen for you at the end of the day. And Correa, one of the shortest men on the field, heads the ball into the back of the net. And it's now 5-0. And an absolutely tragic result. But... It was to be expected at the end of the day. There we go. That is full time. We've lost the game 5-0 at home against Manchester City. And yeah, I don't know what more to say about that to be honest. Because at the end of the day, like I say, in that first half, 
we did very well, but Man City just showed their class. Uh, showed their class um, in the second half. Really started putting us under pressure. Like I say, just in that second half, nothing I seemed to. Ha- no matter when I had the ball or when I didn't have the ball, nothing seemed to go right for me, and that showed when we ended up losing the game five nil. So yeah, that is what it is. But I was like I say, I wasn't expecting anything from this episode to be honest. Like I say, just acted uh, wanted something positive, and I definitely got that in the first half. And here we are for the post match interview now. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, That can't have been much fun to watch as a manager, what went wrong. We didn't deal with anything they put at us today. It was just... Well, to be fair, we did in the first half, but that second half... um, We have to work to do... Uh, we have work to do defensively we have to learn from our setbacks that's very true but at the end of the day like I say it's Man City it's not something that we're going to be able to do uh, really we were second best it's as simple as that we definitely were in that second half I'm not going to lie and after that we've got a performance review meeting scheduled so it does look like very soon we might be losing our job Right then, boys, here we are for our second and final game of today's episode against Liverpool. This one is going to be at Anfield. Um, They have, I think, a full strength 11, apart from the dude at the back. I'm not sure who he he actually is. Um, We obviously are back to our full strength strength side as well. So let's game and see whether we can put in a decent performance today. Let's get it. And here we are, Divock Origi obviously back at his former club, 26 years of age in his first game, scored two goals for us against that uh, in that win against Crystal Palace. So hopefully he can put in another decent performance today. We'll have to wait and see. But let's get into this game against Danfield. I don't see this one being much fun uh, like the last game uh, against Man City. So let's just get it over and done with, boys. Uh, in this FIFA, it's a goal fest, but it's only on one side of the field, and you know what side that's going to be. So, um, this one, hopefully, we can try and, again, like I say, put in a decent performance. We have given the ball away, but here we go. We've got won it back with Rashika. If the sergeant makes the run, and for some reason he stopped making the run there, if he'd made the run through the centre, that could have very easily been 1-0. And again, we can try, and it's there for Sergeant, and he's dinked it. Can it end up? Please? No! Somehow that hasn't ended up in the back of the net. And here we go. It is with Aaron's now. If we can try and gain some kind of space, surely that was a foul there. Apparently not. Uh, That, I think, there should have been a foul, but we are men behind at the moment. If Norman can get there, and it is Firmino who has put that ball, uh, ball onto the bar. Now it's a chance again for uh, for Liverpool to come back forward. It's just so difficult to defend against this side because they have so much pace coming forward. It's just actually so excruciating to play against. Like, don't get me wrong, Man City are difficult to play against because of their passing play, whereas Liverpool is just difficult because they have so much pace coming forward. And it's Firmino with the shot and luckily saved by Gunn. It's one of them things. Gunn is someone that I really just... I rely on so much at the minute and that shows how close we were to scoring. Now, Liverpool whips the ball into the box. It's a good block here from uh, Jean Luis. If he can try and play a ball round the back to... Uh, it is Rashika running through at the moment. If he can try and outpace Robertson and somehow he hasn't done so. Uh, Sargent to win that header and he has done so. It's to Origi back into Sargent who has been our star man up front so far this season. And that is the exact reason why. 24 minutes in and we've took the lead with Sargent bagging the ball into the back of the net. Oh my god, the relief that has given me. But hopefully now we can try and defend for all we can against this Liverpool side. It's going to be difficult but we have taken the lead with Sargent. Bagging the ball. He's been close two times already. Well, one time already. But that one has secured himself his fourth goal of the season. Let's go, man. Who's tried to turn his man. And I've tried to play a ball with Rashika. I thought he was trying to make a run, but apparently not. Um... Archer to try and get in here and he's not done so so far. It's with Mane and uh oh god. Oh, that is tragic. 
How you out of all the shots you've had at goal in this game, Gun? How is that the one that you let go into the back of the net? An absolute p roller from Firmino has just ended up in the back of the net. That is tragic goalkeeping. Oh, that should never have been allowed. How, how, how have we gone from winning this game, well, being in the lead in this game, and then conceding a goal like that? Come on, man. Oh, it's actually so bad at the minute because we're just doing everything we can and we're looking good when we come forward. But I know it's coming to that point where uh, Liverpool are going to start taking their chances. And at the minute, Aaron's isn't keeping up with Mane. Don't know what his thought process there was, but he didn't even try and bother following him at that point. It's played inside to Bobby Firmino. It's back to Robertson. Back inside. He was miles offside, surely. I'm sure Salah was offside there. I am absolutely sure that Salah was offside there. And apparently not. And we're 2-1 down just before half time. And don't celebrate like you've just fucking won the league. I ain't taking the piss. Because we've done so well all game. Attacking wise we've looked threatening. And I'm not frustrated at this point. Because like I say I wasn't expecting anything from this game. But I'm pretty sure that Salah was offside at that point. I'm I'm certain that Salah was offside in that first point of the attack. And he's just bagged himself that goal. That is half time. Literally the last kick of the half was that goal. We've gone to, uh, in at half time 2-1 down. And they do not deserve it. One shot, one goal for Salah. But at the end of the day, you were offside. You was offside. I cannot believe that he was not offside at that point. But at the end of the day, we're 2-1 down after taking a 1-0 lead. And it is to be expected against this uh, side that are currently top of the table. Again, we started the game very well. And we just cannot seem to keep these leads. We're going to try and play this ball through to Origi, who has beaten um, his man. If he can play it back here, Sergeant again, and we're back on level term just after half time. It's Sergeant with his second goal of the game. We're back on level terms. I was planning on giving that to Archer. I'm not going to lie to you. But at the end of the day, it's landed at Sergeant's feet. And as soon as it went past Archer, I genuinely wor I worried like hell. Well, but luckily for us, it was Sergeant uh, that was there to collect the scraps. And he has placed that very nicely into that far corner just beyond Allison's hand. And luckily, Archer got out of the way of it as well. So we are now back at two apiece. A very big counter-attacking opportunity there and it has gone amiss. But Oma Bedelli is the man there again to collect that. Plays it round the back to Aaron's. That man at the back is actually a beast. I love this kid. Uh, that is a fucking unreal challenge there from uh, Fabino. I don't know who's supposed to be marking that man. And we've gone 3-2 down. Oh, it's an end-to-end -end game, but I cannot defend. Oh, I cannot defend. There's nothing I can do in this situation. Look at the gap in the middle of the park where we're supposed to be defending. And did you see the way that that ball's just swerved away from Gunn there? That was aimed straight at him, and he's somehow bent it into that top corner. Oh, my God. This is the type of shit that I've got to pull with. Right, corner for Liverpool again. Sergeant, keep up with your man, please. It's whipped into the box anyway. Archer hasn't managed to get there. Oma Bedelli, of course, is the man that gets there. And now it's Sergeant to come forward. He has knocked the ball beyond his man. Can play the ball over the top to Rashika. It was through on goal at the minute. It's against Trent. And he's bagged it. It's three apiece now in this Liverpool game. <laughs> And somehow we are back to three apiece. We're back level. This time it's Rashika that's bagged the goal. It's Sergeant this time who's bagging the assist. Who has had a game and a half for this club today. Two goals and an assist to his name for Sergeant. And Rashika's bagged himself a goal as well. Very nicely done from him. And we're back to level pegging. Can we keep it or push on from it this time? So yeah, Van Dijk has just been taken off for Liverpool. I don't know who's came on in his place, but he has just been taken off. Don't know what that's about, but Archer is the man on the ball at the minute. We'll spread it out wide, play it down the wing to Aarons, who has some space, has some time, whips the ball into the area. It's Origi. Oh, he's put the ball past the post against his former club. 
Oh, well, imagine if that had gone in the back of the net. The man that wins us the game, Divock Origi, again, in his first game against his former club. And even with very little stamina, Mane still has the pace on uh, Aaron's and uh, Norman, which just shows the amount of pace that that man has in the middle. Keita is the man on it at the minute. Gives it to Robertson, who plays it down the wing to Salah. Uh, it is played beyond Jean Luis. It's a good block from that man, though, and he's beaten him. To see this, has played the ball up to Sargent, who could not get in the end of that, unfortunately. And now it's back with Bobby Firmino. A very good save to start that with uh, Gunn. It's Aarons who's trying to defend against Mane now, though. Can he do so? He can't at the moment. He's not kept up with that. It's going to be played inside at some point. There it is to Bobby Firmino. It's played into Jordan Henderson. And that has ended up in the back of the net. It's 4-3 to Liverpool. I knew it was going to happen because we just couldn't take the ball off of Liverpool. And now they're celebrating like they've won the league, even though they're just beating a side that are currently bottom of the table and they're only beating them 4-3. A side that has hardly scored this season and you're celebrating like that. <laughs> that is just appalling. That's poor goalkeeping again from Gunn. And I don't know what to do. Because like I say, if you play against a side like Liverpool, it doesn't matter what you do. If they have a shot at goal, more than likely it's going in the back of the net. And it just shows 4-3. We have indeed lost this game. It is full time. It's 4-3 that we have lost it. And uh, we had two or three chances to actually go on and win this game. That's the thing that's the most frustrating. We had a few chances in each scenario where we went back to level pegging where we probably could have taken the lead and we just didn't have the guts and the goal to show it. We had so many missed opportunities in this game where we probably could have beaten Liverpool. And then Henderson, right at the end of the game, goes and scores himself an 89-minute winner. And like I say, it's one of them things on this FIFA, if it comes to that last minute's decider, <laughs> the computer are going to score it. Because they play shots that well that... In situations, most of the shots they have at goal in a game are going top bins. And at the end of the day, if it wasn't for Omabama uh, Oba, Deli in this game, we would have lost this game by so many goals. He's, his defensive performance today was unreal. It really was. And um, to be honest, I don't know what I would have done with that today. And it's been like that all season, to be honest. Unfortunately, somehow we've lost this game 4-3. Um, but yeah, it was a very good performance from the boys today, I'm not going to lie. And here for the post-match interview now, uh, it was quite a performance. Uh, one player could, can't drag us through games. Uh, food for thought, I'd say. He played fucking unreal today. Two goals and an assist to the man's name. Had a goal involvement in every single one of our goals today. Um, it must have been frustrating to concede so late in the game what happened. Um, we wasn't down to lack of effort. I, yeah, it wasn't a down for a lack of effort because the boys put in work today to actually get anything out of this game and they deserved it. A tough game for you. Could you have done anything different? Uh, we've got to work to, uh, we've got work to do, haven't we? We didn't defend well. Um, we'll say that one so we don't disappoint the boys. But yeah, just that last minute. And that is the end of this episode. We have ended up uh, losing both games. Obviously conceded nine goals in the two games. But at the end of the day, getting a 4-3 defeat against Liverpool is just, it's just bitter. Because the way they won it, that's all I've got to say. Because we very much deserved to win or get in any way like we actually does we could have deserved to win this game we definitely deserve to get a draw at least very much at least deserve to get a draw but unfortunately they scored that last minute winner with Jordan Henderson and that is the way it is we're down to a 45 rating as our manager at the minute currently in the next episode we have a game against Southampton and hopefully a game that could reduce uh, restore a little bit uh, faith in the management against Brentford. We struggled against them in the last game though when we played against them. 
it's not looking great for us. Obviously, we have a couple of very difficult games now out of the way for the second part of the season, obviously against Man City and against Liverpool. So that's something to look forward to. Currently, this positions are still the same. We could have uh, dropped a few points there for Liverpool, but unfortunately didn't do so. Um, that which is disappointing. At the minute, we are on a rating of three, five, and eighteen, and we've scored. That's the thing that um, Liverpool should be so so like bitter about the fact in this game before they played us, they were on uh, eighteen only conceded 18 goals in 26 games we had uh, only scored 14 in 25 which just shows how well we actually played in that game obviously before this well at the start of this episode we'd only conceded 45 goals we've now conceded 54 but at the end of the day it's our goal scoring that is the biggest issue, I think, at the minute. And we very much what nearly wiped that out of the water with that game against Liverpool. We played very well. And in that Man City game, we had our attacking options in that first half. But obviously, we didn't end up retaining that. Uh, Chelsea are down in eighth at the minute. That is a madness. But... Uh, yeah, in the next episode, the game against Southampton, game against Brentford. I hope you guys are looking forward to that episode. If you are, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next episode, whether we still have this manage uh, management position or not. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got us a quick change, so we like them in face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps saying.